Hello everyone, welcome to KP Classes, one of the premier institute for examination preparation for both design as well as architecture. We have a pan-India presence on the online platform as well as we provide offline classes to our students. So let's talk about KP Classes. KP Classes has been founded by a, a group of IITians as well as architects and it is partnered by faculties from the field of design, architecture, as well as fine arts, right? So today I'm here to talk about specifically the design examination, NIFT, right? NIFT, as you all know, is a premier institute by uh, the government of India. And every year they, um, they um, have these undergraduate and master's program examination. And a lot of students every year are appearing for these examinations and they want to make a career in the field of design, right? So uh, NIFT offers bachelors in design and bachelors in fashion technology, right? A lot of students are really confused between what is BDES, which is bachelors in design and what is BF tech, which is bachelors in fashion technology. So BDES is more, creative and design oriented course uh, which has specialization in fashion textile leather knitwear accessory and fashion communication for students who want to make their uh, career in the field of fashion and apparel and exports but they are not that keen into the creative field they can opt for bf tech so you need a science background and it is equivalent to getting a btech degree right but in the field of fashion and apparel manufacturing and we do um, prepare our student for the bf tech examination also by giving them the aptitude classes. Let's come towards the master's program. NIFT also provides you master's in design, two years course in master's in design, uh, master's in fashion management and master's in fashion technology, right? So a uh, lot of students every year, they appear for these examinations, right? So we, uh, the examinations are conducted into two phases. Most of the design entrance exams in India are conducted in two phases. Phase one is primarily the written examination. And phase two is about studio test, situation test, GD and interview. So let's uh, see uh, an overview of phase one, which is divided into two parts, GATT, which is general aptitude test and CAT, which is creative aptitude test. So over here, I have weightage for um, different examination, like BDES will have a little different weightage, um, MDES will have a different weightage and BF tech or MF tech will have a different weightage. And we take our students through a detailed uh, and thorough analysis of these weightages because it's important and that's how you plan your examination, right? The second phase of these examination happens after two months of the written examination. You have to clear the first phase and then you have to appear for the phase two. So uh, we are here mostly to discuss about the creative part of phase one and phase two. Why? Because it covers almost 70 to 80 percent of the whole examination the rest 30 or 20 percent is dedicated to the general aptitude test so a lot of students who are in class 12th or who don't have a design background and want to you know uh, crack master's um, examination entrance examination they come with a lot of query about the creative part that what sort of questions come so please keep in mind the question, the drawing based questions are based on abstract based question come, memory based questions and conceptual based questions. Now, what are these abstract based questions or what do we mean by memory based questions or what is meant by conceptual based questions? We'll see it in the next slide. So these are some of the past year question papers. Uh, which has been asked in NIFT entrance exam. So I'll just read it out for you and explain it to you a little bit. Show progression of one 
uh, one to another only through colors which are to be filled in a series of eight boxes cocoon to butterfly sky dawn to night so the question says that you have been given a series of boxes and in those boxes you have to show a color transition you know color transition of a cocoon to butterfly how the color transits you don't have to show the actual cocoon or the butterfly but just show it in terms of color and texture and the next question says color transition of a you know night sky uh, night sky to a uh, dawn sky right dawn to dusk or dawn to night how the color changes of the sky that you have to show so what is it we have already seen these kind of things so these this is more like a memory based question right what you have already seen you have to recall and you have to draw so for that your observation skill really need to be very well okay next question is depict the four words given below use only lines to depict and mention the concept behind it so this is a kind of conceptual question or uh, you can say abstract based question because they have given you some elements and you have to use those elements to depict two words number one is sharpness and the other one is rude now you might be thinking that how do we uh, show a behavior a rude behavior just through lines and colors and everything so that's where we come in that's where we help you out to um, apply a proper approach to these sort of questions although they are creative based questions and all of you are creative enough all of you will be coming up with your own ideas but yes there are certain fine lines that we have to keep in mind while we are answering these questions and that's where the faculties at kp classes will be helping you the next question is about comic strip plot set in covid 19 uh, scenario and you you have to make a comic strip between Akbar or and Birbal or Tenali Rama or Vikram Vitar. So there are two characters given to you and you have to pick up those characters and set a comic strip or a storyboard in the scenario of COVID-19. So again this is conceptual based question. You're creating a concept like you're making a movie you think about a concept same here you are creating a concept now it's not necessary that every time you will be getting a comic strip based question you might get a product based question you might get a graphic design based question right so there are around 35 different topics that are being covered for specifically for nift creative part in our entrance exam and each and every topic will take you in depth into a lot of things from graphic design to designing um, products to industrial design so each and everything we will be covering and also remember guys all the design entrance exams are very multidisciplinary right because design as a um, subject is not uh, you you cannot study design in isolation it has to be interdisciplinary and you need to know about various other design field to excel in just one design field for example if you are a person who's interested in industrial design you should know what is happening in the field of traffic you should know what is happening in the field of automobile right so that is one approach you have to keep in mind and i'm telling this to all our students who are new to this field who are right now in class 10th 11th and 12th and looking forward for the preparation for the design entrance exam on a whole okay so next is as i have written over here your approach to these uh, drawing uh, questions are very important now they are not your basic drawing which you are doing in your day-to-day -day life right um, they require certain thought process right they they require certain amount of guidelines that you need to follow to answer the questions as if you are a designer so design is a problem solving activity it is not just about drawing or doing beautiful sketches it is about uh, having a problem solving approach always keep that in mind design is all about problem solving whether you are giving a solution in terms of garment whether you're giving a solution in terms of product or interior right or 
maybe something like an app or a website that is also giving solution to a problem. Initially, uh, we used to always um, consider design to be product based. It can be a, a sort of, uh, you know, accessory or a garment or any any product which is 3D. But in in as as and when the times have changed in today's uh, day and age, design is also considered to be um, service based, like creating an app that fulfills a certain problem or creating a website that fulfills a certain problem. These all fall under the huge domain of design, right? So the design domain is increasing and expanding with time and with new technology coming um, and coming up in, you know, each day, right? So how to develop creativity? A lot of you students who are right now in class 11th and 12th who have your studies going on, uh, right? You must be thinking that, okay, I'm not creative. I'm not that great in drawing. So how do we develop those things? Of course, we will be teaching you, but as students, you have to be inquisitive. You have to try out new things. You have to be open to new ideas around you, right? So first of all, I'll always recommend your daily sketching and rendering exercises are important, okay? We will be definitely uh, taking you through the course curriculum of our sketching exercises, but right now it's just an overview and I want you to keep these uh, points in mind. So daily sketching and rendering, reading books, reading different sort of books. If you are already a avid reader, then it's great, but do not avoid that. If you are not into the, um, if you haven't inculcated the reading habit, so please start reading, whether it is reading the newspaper, whether it is reading fictional books um, or something related to uh, current affairs, that will be very uh, useful for you guys. Visit various art galleries, museums, etc. Traveling is another great way to enhance your creativity and your, um, you know, observation skill. Watching animated and sci-fi movies, okay? Uh, interacting with different people from different walk of life, right? Whether it is a person who's pulling a cart, whether it's a, whether there's a person who's selling flowers, whether it's a CEO of a company, you have to interact, you have to be very, very interactive with people and try and understand the in the insight that they have because design after all is about catering to people. We don't keep the designs to ourselves, we cater to a market, we cater to an audience. So understanding your audience starts right now, right? So observation of day-to-day -day life activity and curiosity and asking frequent questions about things happening around you. So curiosity is very important. Develop that curiosity. Ask questions. Ask question yourself about a lot of things. And that's how the seed of creativity starts developing inside each and every student. And we believe each student, each kid is creative. Just that uh, in our day-to-day -day life, we tend to avoid certain things, we tend to forget certain things. So just bring back the creativity, keep these points in mind. Next is, apart from your drawing um, ability, apart from developing your creativity and your thought process and your approach, KP Classes is also focused on, uh, you know, giving you world-class uh, education. So that's why we cover each and every course, um, which is part of the design curriculum. So English, GK, current affairs, logical reasoning, numerical ability, history of art, design and fashion. These are the topics which are covered by faculties who are completely dedicated for these subjects. Apart from that, a little bit of soft skill development is important and also preparation, full preparation of GD and interview, how to crack uh, these interpersonal round, how to crack the portfolio round. These are the, these are some of the features that uh, KP classes is providing to our students. And we are here dedicated for the students and for their future, right? So the most recommended course that we are uh, coming up with are the live online classes okay a apart from that um, the duration is very flexible 
every student have their own timeline right somebody might be having an exam or somebody might having uh, too much burden in the school so we are flexible in that way and please you can get in touch with our counselors and you can customize the course as per your time frame okay uh, we definitely give you free demo classes so before joining you have to be satisfied with the type of teaching on the online platform or on the offline platform so we uh, you are most welcome to come up and take the demo classes with us apart from uh, the live online or the offline classes we you can also avail recorded video lectures so um, we have the whole course curriculum the each and every topic has been recorded for uh, you to go through so you can if you are not able to take up the live online classes you have time constraint then you can avail the recorded video lectures plus the study material and the test series and we have come up with this unique app which has got all of these features for you so for that for more details you have to download kp classes exam prep app okay please do not forget kp classes exam prep for more details right our first batch is starting very soon you can um, call us up or get in touch with us uh, at kpclasses.in or you can download our uh, app kp classes exam prep you can book a free demo session you can talk to our counselors who can guide you who can, who can guide your parents we can also talk about the future aspects of the design field okay so all the best guys and i hope to see you soon thank you